Hey, Tubeubers, TJ Pyramid here with a review. Um, not of a movie, per se, but uh, of a wrestling Blu-ray, and that is It's Good to Be the King, the Jerry the King Lawler story. Two-disc Blu-ray, uh, roughly about eight hours long. Uh, I'm a huge fan of wrestling, and uh, this is a Blu-ray that I had been waiting for for ages and ages and ages because I mean there's really nobody in the WWE that has the history of like Jerry Lawler I mean decade upon decade of uh, being around uh, the documentary portion which uh, on the WWE DVDs or Blu-rays um, it can be a wrestler I don't even like but they do the documentaries about these people's lives from like birth getting into wrestling and then their career so well that they're always just so so entertaining um, and it's even more so when it's a wrestler that I like or somebody that I admire or have respect for uh, in the pro wrestling business. Um, this one's really cool because it starts off with uh, Jerry Lawler sitting in like his art room. He's a fantastic artist. I mean uh, if you've never seen his artwork or if you didn't even know he was an artist um, type in like Jerry Lawler artwork on Google or something and go take a look. I mean he's just fantastic. Uh, actually, that's kind of what got him into the business. He uh, it starts off the documentary, starts off um, with him going to wrestling shows with his dad, and because uh, his dad was a big fan, and Jerry wound up doing like uh, sketches of the wrestlers and stuff that were wrestling there and everything, and a uh, word got around to the the promoter and stuff, so. You know, they hired Jerry on to do, like, the billboards and stuff like that and paint art on buildings and just, you know, all kinds of stuff. So it, it snowballed from there. And uh, he actually got his foot into the actual wrestling ring because um, something had happened. There wasn't a wrestler there of some sort. And the promoter basically came up and said, you know, uh, hey, Jerry, um, you want to wrestle? Have you wrestled before? And Jerry's like, oh, yeah, I've wrestled, yeah. He was totally lying. He had never even done a wrestling move in his life, but uh, that got him going. He got into like a main event thing there, um, and that that was just like his whole beginning right there as a teenager. You know, just uh, heading into it. Uh, this has this covers the whole Andy Kaufman thing really, really well. How uh, Andy Kaufman was at Madison Square Garden watching at the time WWF um, stuff and his manager and he approached Vince McMahon and said, you know, hey, I, I'd love to wrestle. I'd like to do something in your federation. And Vince was like, no, we don't want we don't want none of that. We don't want celebrities in our wrestling. No. So uh, that's when somebody knew that Jerry Lawler was wrestling in uh, Memphis wrestling. And uh, Andy's people contacted Jerry Lawler's people and said, hey, Andy Kaufman wants to wrestle. He wants to come down and he wants to wrestle women. He's like the intergender champion, you know. So, uh, yeah, that whole thing was set up right there, and he would come down to Memphis, and he would wrestle women from the audience, and then uh, Jerry got involved, you know, just started picking on Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman started shooting words back to him, and uh, it was just huge, huge publicity. Um, Jerry Lawler eventually went against Andy Kaufman. There were, weren't really a lot of moves. There was, like, a backdrop, a couple pile drivers. Andy Kaufman wore a neck brace for, like, months upon months. They went on David Letterman. Uh, pictures of Andy Kaufman on the stretcher in Memphis Wrestling ended up in, like, Tokyo, Japan, the cover of, like, the, the paper there. So really big. Uh, the whole famous David Letterman thing with uh, Jerry Lawler slapping Andy Kaufman and then going to commercial and coming back, and Andy Kaufman just, you know, spouting out profanities at Jerry Lawler. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, this it pretty much goes up to him as a child, um, with his father and mother and stuff like that, and his brother, and it kind of ends around the time he had his uh, heart attack, which I actually remember watching on Raw Live that night of, of it happening, and uh, his recovery and his return to Raw, how he's basically 100%, but uh, like I said, WWE definitely knows how to do documentary portions of uh, these types of DVDs, and this is just a fantastic story. If you have any interest in wrestling, um, or you want to know the history of one of the best uh, personalities of all time, this is definitely to get. Uh, and definitely pick up the Blu-ray, because you get 
a whole slew of um, there's some matches on the first disc uh, even though they do have it kind of uh, listed wrong here because they say disc 2 is the actual matches but it's not um, a lot of the matches it's are on disc 2 are, are on disc 1 uh, the first match starts back in 1981 Jerry Lawler against Terry Funk in his hilarious oh Terry Funk's hilarious uh, and I assume the normal DVD would go up to his WrestleMania 27 match from 2011 versus uh, Michael Cole. So the Blu-ray, which I will show you here, is why you want to get it. Because you get all this extra stuff here. Stories, plus you get extra matches right there. So you definitely want to make sure you pick up the Blu-ray version of this. And that, that goes with any of the WWE uh, DVD Blu-ray releases. You always want to make sure, if you can, if possible, get the Blu-ray versions because they usually always load them with enough stuff to warrant paying uh, those few extra dollars for the Blu-ray here. But like I said, this is eight hours. Uh, you get matches that span his entire career from Memphis uh, just all the way through here. Uh, WCCW stuff, Primetime Wrestling, AWA, of course his stuff on Raw, some ECW stuff, um, pay-per-view matches and uh, Ohio Valley wrestling stuff so it really covers the entire gamut of Jerry Lawler's career the good and the bad but uh, a super super fun blu-ray really fun watch the documentary itself I believe is about an hour and 27 hour and 28 minutes and uh, all the rest is all the rest of the time is the actual matches. But uh, super cool. I, I really really enjoyed this. And I'm still actually you no know, eight hours long. I'm still going through the matches. It takes a while with these, so they're definitely worth the, the price if you can find them. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, spread the word. Cheers.